Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video, we're going to talk about my philosophy behind buying guns and gear as it pertains to fighting. Fighting is the context for this whole entire video, that and or training for fighting. This whole video is really geared to people who are new to this whole world of guns as it pertains to fighting, not just hobby guns or hunting guns. This is different, right? So, first thing we're going to talk about is what is your job, okay? What is your fight going to be like? If you're a civilian who's working on a home defense plan or a concealed carry plan, then your gear is going to be different than a cop, military, or security guy with a different set of parameters entirely, right? So with that being said, where do you fall on that spectrum and what are you planning to do in a fight? So if you need help figuring with that out and what that would look like, uh, great YouTube channel, Active Self Protection. They do a lot of dash cam, security cam, real life shoot footage of actual gunfights. So you get a good idea what that looks like. You can find that footage other places as well. That's just a good resource for a lot of information and a breakdown of what's going on after the video itself. Once you have an idea of that, then you need to look at the gear you're going to want to use, okay? Don't go buying some exotic styre pistol or an expensive as hell Ed Brown when you can buy a boring polymer wonder gun like the MP here or a Glock or any other polymer wonder gun that really is boring, which is the point, but it's a workhorse of a gun. It does really well has a good track record for a reason, and it's not gonna kill your budget. That's important for buying other gear, other accessories, and more importantly than all of that, training to go with this, okay? Same thing goes for your ammo. Why would you wanna buy RIP G2 ammo instead of buying Hornady Critical Defense or Critical Duty, uh, Spear Gold Dots, or Federal HST, or any other well-known hollow point ammo for defensive use that has a really solid track record with a lot of real use or real world data. All right. Uh, same thing with your rifle, right? If we're talking about home defense, this makes a lot of sense because this is really, really easy to use, really effective on the bad guy, and you can put everything you need to on it without having to conceal it because you're not compromising, right? So a good gun like the Sons of Liberty Gunworks uh, AR, 12 and a half inch upper with your light, you know, hollow sun dot instead of like a, I don't know, sight mark or some cheap Dick Sporting Good brand optic. You don't want that. You want something that's got a track record, something that's solid. Look for other people who are experienced, be it on the internet, YouTube, wherever, who are reputable to some degree and look at what they have and kind of mirror that to some degree. Also, Medical gear. Why would you go with a spaghetti string noodle for a tourniquet when you can go with a cat style or cat tourniquet? These have a really good track record, the cats do, and the military. They're used a lot, they work a lot for a reason. This is boring gear. These are boring. This is boring. Boring is the point. Buy boring gear because boring gear works. When you start trying to test the waters, the new and cool stuff, that's when you're asking for trouble. So, that being said, that's my take on that. Y'all have any questions, let me know. Y'all stay safe, take it easy, and sharpen your skills.